Hey everybody, we are finally in Minnesota. We are officially in the Midwest. We have left the West and we are on our slow truck back to the East. It is surprisingly hot here, which I did not expect. Yeah, I think the, the feels like today was 108. Yeah. So we're inside. And ridiculously uh, humid. Yes. So we're inside. Yeah. We're gonna be talking about a recipe we made the other night. Which is uh, really good. It turned out really good. It's Picture the love child between a carbonara pasta and a red sauce. And you mix those together and come up with something really good. It's called pasta a la Zizona. Yes, that's what it's called. <laughs> uh, so, and if you're not familiar with carbonara, it's essentially egg yolks and cheese uh, mixed together to make a nice creamy sauce. And when we had our farm, we used to make carbonara All a lot. Time. Uh, because we had plenty of eggs, so we never had a shortage of eggs to make pasta with. Um, but this recipe takes that, adds in some whole tomatoes that you cook down into a sauce, some uh, spicy Italian sausage, yep. and then it calls the recipe calls for guanciale, which we which couldn't is, find. Yeah, it's a cured pork uh, pork cheek um, that's hard to find. We could not find it. But we did the other day. Yeah. So, so we've got another recipe coming up later with that one. Yeah. So, but for this one, we substituted pancetta, um, cooked that, the sausage, some onions, render the fat out, mix it with the tomatoes, throw in the creamy carbonara sauce, cook some rigatoni noodles, put that on top, let the sauce and the meat and everything get in through the noodles. It, it was it's so good. good. It's good. Yeah, so we think you guys will enjoy it. The dogs definitely did enjoy it as well, too. So. Yeah, let's get to it. Yeah.